So my great idea is before we try to hack anything, before knowing what the hell is going on, it would be like a very genius idea to find out what the hell is going on. Now, luckily, we have what is called the dot file, which tells us basically what kind of software is running on this um, server. We have Redis, I saw, and I don't know what this is, but it looks like it's going to be important. I mean, after all, it's called the app key. Then we have a MySQL database. Maybe we can connect to MySQL. I also saw somewhere that we have Laravel and we'll see it again, but maybe, nah, I'm not sure that's going to work. We have the Redis, we have a Laravel session, we have a mailer, which is Mailhawk, and ah, oh, we have no AWS access keys. I would have enjoyed some free cloud hosting, but it doesn't look like uh, much. Now we've got MySQL, we've got Redis, and we've got HTTP. Now, one thing that we could try, first of all, is a, what do you call it, do a get, and I think that's called a, uh, yeah, what is carriage return line feed injection, log injection, log file poisoning, oh, oh, maybe that's the way to go, I mean, mm, I'm not sure, because all we have here is like a change log, but we don't really have a way to read the logs, like, in a web UI. So that means we still somewhere in here. Let's go with this one. Get, then we have carriage return line feed. Let's do something like add and check Sean and send this one. Let's take a look at what happens. We get something, certainly. Okay, wait. Can we now put a reverse shell in it and call it the day? That would be fantastic, but I highly doubt it. Why did this one stop? Mm -hmm. So I get this back. How could we abuse this? I mean, there has to be a way. Maybe we can do something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Localhost.htb. This looks like somebody is uh, writing the hack tricks based on HTB. <laughs> hack the box. Hey, we have a tool that does this. Okay, let's try this. Maybe we can actually do something with this. Let's move you somewhere around here. So my dear viewers can also see what the heck I'm actually trying to achieve here, which is pip free install your LF suite so that we can automatically attack it. How do we use it? We just say CRL F suite. Do I have to like sudo this command? Hmm. It may be too complex for this tool actually, but all I want to do is know how can I use this CRLF injection to come on injection. All these web pages have too much ads. What the heck is going on? All right, so we have this injection, which means we get something back here, but not what we actually want. But hang on, I think that this thing is uh, running on PHP, right? So can we like execute PHP? It doesn't look like it. I was thinking maybe we could execute some kind of code, but maybe it's just easier to say hi and send this. Oh no, we get a whole hi. We would need some way to use this section here to create. We need a payload for this section. The only thing is what kind of payload do we actually inject in here? Or is this just like another dead end or another road that we should not be taking because it's just going to be a rabbit hole. Mm. I mean, actually, I could also access stuff from the cybermonday.htb server, right? It's called localhost. I mean, what what is happening? Let's uh, just get this one, see what it does. Any suggestions from my dear chat? No. Mm. It's also possible to attack several simple services like Redis. Now, as far as I remember, we have Redis. All right, let's try set test success. Oh, but where do we have to? Uh, I think it would be the best. Or stack the box, play machine, this here, if we just do it here. Oops, that's the wrong place to put this in. This is the right place. And here we get a bad request. Not sure why 
or how this results in a bad request. But I think if we know how we could exploit this with LAR or Redis, or maybe we can like have a Redis common injection or Redis com Redis reveal. Okay, maybe we can try this. I'm not sure this is gonna work though. But uh, let's try it. So let's go with a. Mm. I don't know if that's interesting for you. I mean, all you're doing is watching me Google things. Uh, so I don't think that's really interesting for you. But hanging sometimes is just... Uh, oh, Cyber Monday. CRLF injection to interact with the Redis database that's caching the Laravel session. I'll abuse that to get code execution in the web. Okay. So it looks like we're on the right track. But I don't want to spoil you too much. So I'm just gonna call it a day and I'll hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.